new on the Buell itself. Um, waiting on uh, some more stuff to do before I get to the fuel pump, but just wanted to show off my apparatus here. Um, when I did the fork job on the Buell, uh, which I don't have a video of, sorry. Uh, I had to use uh, two ladders like that one there with uh, two two by fours strung across and some um, ratchet straps to pick up the front end by the handlebars. Um, and uh, it, it works, it does the job, um, but it irritated me because it took up uh, way too much space. It was really unwieldy to get around. So this is an attempt to overcome that. And so it's pretty straightforward. Um, this is not gonna be holding the full weight of the bike. Uh, it's gonna be holding one end okay, at a time. Get on there and hold, hold from the uh, two by four going across. It didn't flex, it didn't do anything, no creaking, no nothing. And given the short period of time that the bike would actually suspend from that, it should be okay. We're not talking, you know, the bike isn't gonna hang indefinitely like shelving or something like that. Um, so each of those bolts are going into floor joists or well they are floor joists running uh, this direction like that and uh and that's why you have this this particular two by four run across with two more bolts there is no floor joist there these are shorter and just go through the the two by fours and then these eye bolts are bolted clean through with some large washers on the top and some uh, thread locking compounds. So they should never ever come loose, let's hope. <laughs> Even if they do, I can work on it. So that's the good thing. And this whole thing is removable. I can just back out those, those bolts, um, patch the, the ceiling and put some fresh paint on there and we're good to go. It was like it never happened. Um, so anyways, just thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, when I get to the fuel pump, maybe I'll do a quick video on that. Just one of those uh, short videos. And uh, cause what I have to do is pull off the back wheel, loosen that shock, take off that plate, take the fuel pump out, do everything and uh, put it all back together. And the bike will be suspended from this back end here, I think I'm supposed to strap through that particular, this guy right there. Get the camera lined up, that one. So, um, yeah. Let's cross our fingers, everything goes well with that. Because, uh, man, I'm gonna tell you, it's been, uh, this bike has not been fun. Lots of seized bolts, broken bolts. Just stuff. Oh, that's what the price you pay for buying a fixer upper, you know. At least it runs. And I can ride it and have fun. I gotta tell you, Buell's handle like really well. Uh, I know that newer bikes are, are obviously better, but you gotta admit, man, for its time, it was ahead of its time. I mean it really was. What a cool idea. Putting a sportster engine into a sports bike. Just cool. All right, guys, that's about it for tonight. I uh, hope you'll have a good one. Until next time, peace out and keep it. <laughs>